in the last tutorial I have demonstrated how to check whether a given finite state machine is a finite memory machine or not using testing table and testing graph and how to find out the order of the order of finiteness uh, from the testing graph now in this tutorial I am going to show you how to test whether a given machine is a finite memory machine or not using vanishing connection matrix method if you do not know what finite memory machine is or what testing graph and testing tables are then you can check out the last video uh, for all those things and uh, you should know what testing table is before proceeding with this video so if you do not know all these things please just first go to the uh, last video then you come to this video so this is the given machine it's a finite state machine now we need to check whether this finite state machine is a finite memory machine or not now first of all what we need to do is to build a testing table uh, using this machine then using that testing table what we need to do is to build a matrix that we are calling a connection matrix and then we need to check zeros for every row in that matrix and we will be eliminating those rows and the corresponding columns and in this way we will go on doing this uh, if we come out with a zero row zero column matrix then the machine the given machine is a finite memory machine so first of all this is the machine that we are given and this is the testing table that I have developed from this machine and this is the same testing table that I have used for the last tutorial where I have already built this and I have uh, showed you how to build this testing table so I'm not just going through the same thing again so now using the lower part of this testing table you can build the connection matrix now AV is the uncertainty pair and AA is the implied pair now if AA the same state appears twice we are going to leave this we are not going to take this one now AC is the uncertainty pair and AB is the implied pair so the cell AC to AB that means this cell is going to contain one so AC to AB that particular cell is going to contain one here so AC to AB is this cell is going to contain one now AB to AB is zero all the AB to AC is zero because AB doesn't have any implied pair as AC all these are going to be zero now AC to AB is there AD to AC is there so AD to AC is there so this is going to be one and this is going to be zero again so all these things are again zero BC to AB BC to AB is zero BC to BD is the, there BC to AB is there BC to AB is there I'm sorry BC to AB is there so what you need to do is to find out the uncertainty pair this is, these are the uncertainty pair here and these are the implied pair in this section so you need to check out for the implied pairs so BC has an implied pair BD so BC to BD is also 1 and BC to AB is also 1 BC to AB is also 1 rest of the cells are to be assigned zeros now again BD to AD is there BD to AD is there BD to AB is not there BD to AC is there yes BD to AC is there so BD to AC should be this cell should be 1 and BD to AD should be 1 and rest of the cells are going to be 0 now CD to AB is there so CD to AB is 1 then CD to BC is there so CD to BC is 1 and rest of the cells are going to be 0 so this is the connection matrix that we have built now what we need to look for is zeros in a row now the row AB contains 0 as we can see it from here that row AB contains 0 here so we need to just eliminate this row so just eliminate the row that contains 0 this is this should be done in one step and delete the corresponding column as well so we have deleted the row corresponding to AB we should delete the column corresponding to AB as well that means this column has to be deleted as well so now what you need to do is to rewrite the same matrix again and we need to find out the rows with zero values 
again in the second matrix so in the next step so what you got get here is this matrix after eliminating uh, a b uh, row wise and column wise so here again search for a row that contains all zeros so this is the row that contains all zeros so you should eliminate this row again so what i am doing here we get this row with all the zeros so i am eliminating this row and the corresponding column has to be eliminated so this particular column ac is also eliminated so this is the uh, thing that we did for the uh, for step two now again rewrite the matrix rewrite the correction matrix and do the same thing again so i'm doing it once more so here is ac sorry ad remains bc remains bd remains and cd remains and column wise what we got here is AD remains, BC remains, BD remains, CD remains. So now you need, need to rewrite all the cells again. So this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This AD contains all 0. That will be eliminated next. Then BC 0, 0, 1, 0. Then 1, 0, 0, 0 then 0 1 0 0 now look for a row that contains all zeros and here it is ad so eliminate ad now and the corresponding column so what we left with is this one again i am writing the same thing in the same way so bc remains bd remains and cd remains and bc remains here bd remains here and cd remains here so the content that is left with is this 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 so again find a row that contains all zeros and here bd is the row that contains all zeros so i am eliminating this and corresponding column has to be eliminated so i am eliminating the column as well so again we are left with this B C C D and then B C C D here. So the content of the matrix now 0 0 and 1 0. Again find out a row that contains all 0 and we got B C here and we are eliminating column wise as well. So we are left with C D and C D so the content of this is 0 so this is the row that contains only one one cell uh, now this is the matrix that contains one cell and that contains 0 so this is the row that contains 0 so we are deleting again so we are coming up ultimately with uh, no row no column and if that happens remember that if that happens you come up after deleting step by step rows with all zeros and corresponding columns to a matrix that contains no row no column that means ultimately zero row zero column you are done that means the given finite state machine is a finite memory machine now you need to count in how many steps you did that this is a step one step two step three step four step five and step six so the number of steps is the order mu so mu is six here so if it doesn't happen that you cannot eliminate a row if you do not find any row with all zeros that means you are stuck that means you cannot eliminate a row further in that case uh, the given machine is not a finite memory machine so you can check out in this way thank you very much